We are back in Studio K, and I'm joined by Critter Thing. Before we get started, I'd love to get a little name and instrument intro from everyone. I'm Juno, I play guitar. I'm C, I sing. I'm Grady, I play drums. And I'm Ben, I play the keys. Amazing. What's good? <laughs> it was funny, there was like a little bit of reverb still on the mic, so it was like a little echoey oh, when you spacing. gave your We're outros. just spacing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we just heard Siren, Sundial, Everything, Go to Sleep, and of course, Launch Your Own the Moon. Yeah. Um, I'd love to know kind of what are your individual music backgrounds and kind of how did that bring you together well we've been playing music together uh c and i have been playing music together since like yeah since college like for like six years i think now um and you had been in bands before we met but i hadn't and um i was going to I was going to school for music at the time. I think you were trying to become an English teacher. Is that right? Something like that. Probably. Yeah, something like that. Um, and um, yeah, so I I like played like piano and and like I I was like listening to like video game music for a really long time. And then I I like got really into like um, bands and music and performing live. And um, I don't know. It it like the energy of it is really addicting. Yeah. And um, yeah. So. Um, it took us a while to find like a, a band that we were happy with, like lineup wise. Um, but I think I'm I mean, I'm pretty sure that these are like the best people that we've played with. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, I think we've all been in like numerous like failed projects. You sure. Know, whether they crash and burn or fizzle out. But the critter thing just so happens to be still alive and breathing, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm see I uh got musical inf- influences well i was just asking like what kind of when did you pick up the instruments that you're playing now oh. honestly or like what 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 have your backgrounds looked like that have brought you here so to speak sure uh i played bass since i was in high school because my dad was a bass guitarist and he had his band over pretty much once a week since i was like born so i just grew up listening to his bass lines and then i ended up playing bass too I've always been known as a percussion guy. I've started playing percussion in middle school. Um, and then as high school progressed, I started leaning more into leaning more into the set per se. Like my favorite influences are usually more metal based. Um, um, but I started drumming professionally in bands since 2019. I joined several other groups. I'm actually currently in another group right now where I play drums. Um, but Needless to say, like I've been drumming for a lot of projects, and honestly, uh, one project is where I met C and Juno at. Really, um, we just kind of got together and was really fascinated with the type of music that we were making, especially for the type of music that I wanted to particularly drum for. And that was pretty much where we got kicked off with Critter Thing, and I'm really enjoying every second of playing drums for the band. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, I started playing keys as like a little kid, but stopped and then found jazz as an adult and came back to it. And now I play like every instrument that I can put my hands on. Uh, Shout out to my parents for letting me like make terrible noises in the house going (laughs) up a lot, like really loud too. So shout out to them for, you know, allowing that. Cool. Um, And when you kind of finalized this lineup, was there like a conscious choice of what you were like, this is what we want Critter Thing to sound like? Or was it more like you just all started jamming together and now it's kind of turned into this lovely thing? Yeah, uh, at first it was us three trying to be a power trio, Mm. trying to be a power trio, and... I was really into Duster at the time. (laughs) Yeah, our first EP is just a conglomeration of all the stuff we were into. Like, it's very directionless, but it's kind of cool because, like, it's us being... And eventually we found our, our kind of sound that we're pretty good at. Mm-hmm. We added Ben in later on on keys, and I don't regret it at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that's that. Sweet. Um, and how did the name Critter Thing 
come to fruition. Yeah, I'd love to know Juno the story. Question. Um, so, uh, C and I were really into cryptids, and we would watch YouTube videos about cryptids all the time, yeah. like, right before we moved in together. And um, and I was like, we should have a name that's, like, kind of scary, but, like, also kind of cute, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and then, like, it was, like, I have a massive list of band names in my phone that I'm not going to pull up. But, um, <laughs> um, eventually, like, it was, like, good critter or good creature for a while um and then like it was like shivering thing i came up with that and like i think you were like what if we just named the band critter thing and and i was like okay well that that's like the best name that we could possibly come up with so far so uh, yeah and that name is stuck and and you know people have given us compliments on it so i mean like i'm not complaining yeah we have a google drive maybe it's the only one but there's yeah. like <laughs> yeah there's like 300 or so band names in there oh wow <laughs> they're most of them are terrible <laughs> it's always fun though to come up with bad band names though um and like you said the name comes from cryptids if you could like cook up in your mind what the critter thing creature looks like do you have an idea yeah, Kiwi, Kiwi's cooking something up, I think. Yeah, my <laughs> partner, my uh, partner Kiwi, is doing a lot of art for us recently, oh, and cool. she is a furry artist, so it's pretty perfect. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the critter is gonna be like a really long ferret length Ooh. raccoon with like a whole bunch of colors. Sweet. And it's gonna be a bit amorphous and Crayola esque. Yeah. You know, and what do you call laser tag? Yeah, laser tag. It's gonna be a bit laser <laughs> tag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so laser tag is like is like this sort of um aesthetic thing that uh, me and my partner came up with and it's like anything that can be associated with laser tag. Yeah. Uh, shout out Thea by the way, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> um lovely. And now I would love to know how does your songwriting process usually go? Is it like people bring kind of different ideas forward and you go from there? Or is it more like you just hang out and jam and come up with stuff together? Some songs are jams. Some songs are ones we write individually. I think lately a lot of them have been me just writing on like, you know, a chord guitar, acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. And I have this like, I like to have this Tascam four track and I have this drum machine and I have a, some pedals and I just like make a little demo sometimes. Mm -hmm. Juno does it on the computer like nicely. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> trying to get the hang of using a computer and doing it easily without yeah, any cassette you tapes. You got like Cakewalk and stuff on there. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to learn Cakewalk and Reaper and whatnot. I'm very elementary to the computer stuff yet, but yeah. Cool. And these two are good enough to just come in and hear whatever you play and just play the perfect <laughs> yeah, thing pretty yeah. much right away <laughs> yeah that's amazing um and how do you feel like your songwriting has changed over time because how long have you been a band for since 2022 20, okay yeah, 2022 yeah so do you feel like it's your songwriting process has transformed in those two years yeah you guys want to take this one I mean, theoretically, you know, our songwriting has been changing a little bit. You know, we were starting to implement a little more melodic intervals and melodies that, like, are, are kind of more like beautiful sunsets, <laughs> beautiful sunsets and uh, incredible, incredible tuning. You know, it's I don't know. How, I don't know how to describe it, but it's no, that's perfect. It's no, we're, we're changing. We're, we're changing. Um, we're changing our way that we're. Uh, uh, styling, styling the songs up, and you know, we're 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 getting there. So <laughs> <laughs> sweet. Um, and if you could incorporate any kind of like weird, obscure instrument into your song, what would that what would that sound like? Concertina, probably. Ooh, concertina. Yeah, yeah. Any others? Yeah, there's a dance. <laughs> we'd, mic up, we'd mic up the jig, you know. Ooh, <laughs> true. Yeah, that would be perfect. That would be a great addition. It's like, you remember the It clown that yes. dances? <laughs> 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 yeah, just mic that up and you'll be, you'll be ready to go. Um, and what have been some of your 
like favorite highlights of live performances that you've done together or like favorite moments that you've kind of just had as a band of friends that's a good one i have horrible memory so i hardly remember our best shows but <laughs> anyone else want to take it I, I got you. you got it um i guess the only ones that i can think of off the top of my head are because i'm the guitar player and i have a huge <laughs> ego but um <laughs> um definitely like definitely um holding the guitar to the back of my head mm. um and just with no regard to like melody whatsoever <laughs> absolutely shredding on the highest frets at the end of we have a song called backseat we um that we change we ch we do like two key changes at the end of the solo it sounds really goofy <laughs> um and I, I i love i love just going absolutely crazy on the guitar afterwards yeah. and and then also we have that thing that we do that uh you got a recording of um where we like we can't say the word. We can't out loud. say the word out loud. We can't say it on the radio. <laughs> I just shout out Maddie, by the way. Um, but yeah, we um, where we kind of like meet face to face and and like do our thing, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. <laughs> um, and how do you feel that the local scene here in Minneapolis? has a special place in your heart or how do you feel like it's a little bit different from other cities i don't know about other cities i think i've been here my whole life and the rest yeah of these guys have. <laughs> i think generally the local scene is very awesome i really do enjoy the support that we get from people amongst the indie pop community and whatsoever it, it feels so nice to be a part of you know something that you know holds us together and makes us feel special in a way that gets us keeps us going uh musically every day and you know it's i'm generally part of the scene as a whole like i'm in two scenes but the scene in general is just really friendly and really amazing and it's something that we all are grateful for got anything you want to say ben nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that that kind of seems to be the consensus is that people Jenny matrix said said something about it like any small band can just get a gig somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, even if it's Driftwood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I want to add something to this. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's less there's less pain here than in Milwaukee, I can say that for sure. Mm. Uh, the Milwaukee music scene, um, a lot of a lot of violence happening with paintball guns, I'll, I'll, I'll just say that. Oh, <laughs> man, what? <laughs> this is something I know nothing about. <laughs> um... And thus far, you've like released a few singles here and there, a couple EPs. Do you have any high hopes for a Critter Thing holistic album in the future? Yeah, we threw around a couple ideas. We were thinking of um, kind of, you know, she would write five songs, I would write five songs, these guys would write whatever they want, we'd include it and make a big album, you know, and just come together and not really care too much about like having it be a concept album. Sure, you know, yeah, and, yeah. Um, right now we're finishing up a concept EP. Oh, sweet. <laughs> but, but yeah. What's the title? Critter Theory? Where are we going with? What no, we're, we're not, no, no, we're not doing right. Critter Theory. <laughs> <laughs> we're thinking about maybe queering around. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what's the title for the EP? Oh, the, the EP. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, uh, rock and roll car crash. Rock and roll car crash. Oh, cool. Yeah. So what's the, what's the concept behind that one? Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> we can yeah. save that, well, save that for a, a different platform. <laughs> um, all right. And now it is time for our fun question, which is, uh, you get to build a four group bill, including yourselves. Who are you choosing? And you also get to decide where where you're gonna play too. Ooh, I thought I thought of this one. Um, I, I I was thinking up this one on the way here. Um, <laughs> I it would be at Seward Cafe. The first band would be Death. Um, Ooh. The second band, um, was it? I th I think maybe like I don't. Okay, yeah. The okay, I'm gonna go with the original lineup I had in mind. The first band <laughs> would be Death, and then and then it would be us, and then Nirvana after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would want to, I don't care, Seward is awesome, but I'd play there again. Um, I would like to play with MGMT. Mm. That would be sick. I love that band. Gosh, I really, I'm, I'm really more fascinated with like 
the the metal but in terms of rock i would rather play with like bands like royal blood or 21 pilots or you know mgmt is a good one but i also really like uh the blue stones i really like i really like the blue stones and i kind of want to play with them i hope at metallica tonight they have to pull <laughs> grady up on stage because they super <laughs> desperately like need a drummer to rip it up and like show them how it's done and they, they they look in the crowd and Grady's there ready and they point at him and he'd be so ready to go. So I, I hope that yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so ready for that. <laughs> when Lars takes his break. Yeah. That's your yeah. chance. When he gets mysteriously injured, yeah. you're going to have to take over. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Uh, and before we go, you want to let the people know anything exciting you got coming up, shows, stuff like that. Yeah, we're playing a show on the 30th at Cadence Records with our good friends Heliocene, formerly known as Screaming Oars. And um, who else is playing that bill? Someone with Flash? No, 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 no. That, that's, no. that's. Um, follow us uh, somewhere. You can. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure. On Instagram, you can, you can, you can. Uh, check it on you can check all of our bills on the instagram if you want yeah tickets are usually at the door for cadence i believe sure perfect well thanks so much for chatting i had so much fun having you in today thanks for having us